Hello all, I hope you are all good. I'm back again with a very beautiful question from trigonometry today. So let's climb one more step towards the roof of success. Today I'm dealing with the question which goes like this. So it's cos square a plus cos square b plus cos square c on the left hand side and on the right hand side 1 minus 2 cos a into cos b into cos c the condition given is a plus b plus c is equals to pi and here you need to prove lhs is equals to rhs so as usual let's take left hand side first So this is from left hand side and since this is the unusual question that is asked so in the previous video in uh, in, in most of the video we have follow, followed a different method but uh, the previous video that is the 10th video and this video uh, these two uh, in these two questions so we will be following similar process so what we will do here we will take these these trigonometric terms separately so cos square a can be written as from this box cos 2 a is equals to 2 cos square a minus 1 this is the formula you have learned in your class so when you exchange Okay, when you bring this minus 1 here on the left hand side that will be cos 2 a plus 1 and on the other side it remains 2 cos square a and when this 2 goes to the other side it will be cos square a is equals to 1 plus cos 2 a whole divided by 2 so same thing we are going to write here so it is cos square a can be written as 1 plus cos 2a by 2 that is from this formula i hope you understood this one so in the same way in the same form we will change this second trigonometric term also so it is b here that's why we will write 2b 1 plus cos 2 2b whole divided by 2 cos square c this will this we will copy the same so let's move to the next step in the next step we will take this lcm this two and this two is common so we'll take the lcm two and then the rest of the terms they get added one plus cos 2a plus one plus cos 2b here so uh, in the next step it's very simple you will be simplifying the numbers uh, the terms given here that is 1 plus 1 is added so it will become 2 and this 2 and the number in front of this bracket we may, we can take 1 as the common number to all so that 1 and denominator 2 is bring is brought at front at first and then this 1 and this 1 become 2 so that's what we have written here and cos 2 a plus cos 2 b that is kept inside the bracket this cos square c is same so why we have kept this inside the bracket so that we can change this in this form so we have already a formula cos c plus cos d so it is in the same form cos in place of c it is 2a in place of d it is 2b d in place uh, sorry in place of d it is 2b and this formula formula can be converted into 2 cos c plus d by 2 into cos c minus d by 2 so same thing we are going to do for the trigonometric terms that we have inside the bracket you can see that here so this 1 by 2 and this 2 we have copied same and these terms have been changed in this form following the formula uh, you can see the numbers here the terms here this one is written same in the next step 
we have this two and this two common so since we have only two uh, different parts inside uh, the big bracket that is 2 and 2 cos 2a plus 2b by 2 into cos 2a minus 2b by 2 so we have this two common and we take that that two out as common it remains one here two ones are two and plus and this two again already taken out being common now it is cos and you can notice this one so in inside the small bracket also in 2a plus 2b there is two common so in the angles also we have two common so we will be taking this two com two as common and this two and this two get cancelled again uh, two is common in this term also so again this two and this two can be cancelled now what remains okay uh, there is one more thing that you can cancel out this two and this two so now uh, one cos a plus b into cos a minus b will remain here and this one is cos a square c so this is from the previous step by simplification now moving to the next step this cos a plus b can be written as minus cos c how you can see from this table um, I, I think you might have those, uh, done this type of the process multiple times in your class and this is the condition given a plus b plus c is equal to pi a, a plus b can be written as pi minus c by bringing c on the right side and then keeping cos on the both side we have cos a plus b is equal to cos pi minus c and by following the two different rules that is the cast rule that if the angle lies in between 0 degree and 90 degree then all of the trigonometrical terms or uh, the values will have positive uh, positive number or positive value uh, so that means uh, if any numbers are, are found in first quadrant the numbers are positive but when the number lies in between 180 degree and 90 degree then only sine and cosec will have positive value not the cos but cosec sine and cosec will have the positive value similarly we have positive value uh, in the third quadrant the cot and tan will have the uh, positive value and in the fourth quadrant cos and sec will have positive value so we are uh, we have 180 minus c pi minus c is equal to 180 minus c so that means the angle lies in this quadrant second quadrant and here cos will remain minus so that's why uh, cos a plus b can be written as minus cos c here so moving to the next step we have minus cos c i have ex explained this one in cos uh, a minus b and cos c square c we will copy the same in the next step one minus cos c uh, so from these two different terms we will take minus cos c common so minus cos c is common and cos a minus b remains in the first uh, term in the first factor and in the second one as this minus and this plus becomes minus we will be writing minus here and one uh, single cos c will remain here inside the bracket now again we will return to the same table because we can see minus cos c here and as I have uh, discussed uh, broadly that minus cos c can be written as cos a plus b so we will change this minus cos c again we will reverse that back into cos a plus b so it is cos a plus b here the rest of the things we have copied the same from the above step so now uh, moving to the next step this one cos a minus b plus cos a plus b this has a formula so this formula we have we can write cos a plus b plus cos a minus b as 2 into cos a into cos b so we'll be uh, we will be writing this form in place of this one in place of this one in the next step so it will be 2 cos a into cos b so i think 
you know that whenever the angle is A and B, the complete angle, then we will write the same complete angle here. The same A and B angle will be written on the right hand side also. So we have uh, A and B here. That's why we are writing the same angle A and B. So now simply uh, taking these two at front and rest of the numbers arranging will get our answer that is 1 minus 2 cos A cos B and cos C. So this is what we need to prove in this question. So we have now LHS is equal to RHS proved. I hope uh, you got benefited from this video tutorial. Now we will be talking a lot more about the different questions in the upcoming videos. And uh, please, if you got satisfied with this video, please do not forget to share with your needy friends. Thank you for coming back.